It's the busiest season for hospitals in the UK. But this year, the health service is grappling with a particularly tough winter. This Wednesday, junior doctors have ramped up industrial action, beginning a three-day walkout over pay and deteriorating working conditions. From my first day of work, there was low staffing, the hospital was at critical capacity, there was corridor nursing. Me and my colleagues were expected to take up more senior decisions um, and work at a level where we're just getting burnt out. It's a significant escalation of their battle for a 35% pay rise. Junior doctors make up about half of the medical workforce, but many say the difficult conditions mean a number of workers are moving away from the UK, exacerbating staff shortages. When I'm at work, there's huge road gaps because my colleagues have left to go to Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and actually left for other jobs within the UK where they're getting paid for the expertise that they can provide. The NHS says the strike should affect almost all routine care, with senior doctors asked to step in. It comes after talks between the British Medical Association and the government broke down earlier this month. I want also to address their concerns about working conditions and so on, but I cannot do that if they're on the picket line rather than in hospitals looking after patients. This walkout will be followed by a six-day strike at the start of January, the longest in NHS history. The health secretary says if the strikes are called off, the government will come back to the negotiating table.